everyone welcome to my pega technology youtube channel in this video i am going to explain um, child to parent propagation if you, uh, in previous class in previous session i discussed about parent to child propagation also if you didn't go on through that video please go on through that video then only go on through okay, and this video in this video i am going to explain child to parent propagation and uh, here demo on case dependency is parent, ch parent case type, child CT is our child case type. So go to child case type. In order to propagate data from child case to parent case type, uh, here we have automation step called update case. So select for update your case automations. Select this shape. And here we need to select a single and here we need to give uh, with id that is dot px cover and cover ins key it is used to identify with parent case id parent case id and child case id and uh, uh, in order to propagate data from child to do parent we need to create data transform now i'm going to create data transform child to parent dt and here dt is not getting for both the parent and child case types so by click on create and open this is the data transform phase go to pages and classes give py workspace For child case type and uh, give PY work cover for parent case type. For parent case type, PY work cover and for child case type, PY workspace. Here, data from source means input. From child case type, we are getting value. So, PY workspace. Right. I need to add steps in child case type. I need to add collect information step. Collect the parent details. I am giving step name. This I am collecting two properties other number and part number click on submit and save and drag this step to bottom of update your case click on save of child case step go to parent case step and add one other step get child data and add properties other number and par number click on submit and submit Save the rules. Now go to transform. Go to data transform rule. And uh, in uh, PY workspace, PY workspace means child case. So father number and target means we need to propagate data to parent case type. So PY work cover. If you click on, we get parent case type from this other number. And uh, I add another and uh, sources py workspace means child. Just give pan number from child case type. And uh, now target is py work cover means parent give pan number and save the data transform rule. Here important thing is pages and classes. Under py workspace, we need to mention child case type class. Under PY work cover, we need to mention 
parent case type class from the go to child case type uh, under update a case call this data transform and save this child case type here one thing we have under create case and after completion of create case we need to get a child get child case so i am giving one wait step and drag above get child data after create case mm -hmm. here after completion of child case only we need to get we need to come again to parent case step so i am giving wait here I am choosing case dependency any child case data after resolving of child case data only uh, the case get needs to get again from again to parent case type so after resolution of child case so make this as resolve and save now create case and observe the output and uh, collect uh, here first collect parent details step get executed if you give data and select date of birth select email and select the phone number submit now uh, this step executed after that create case means child case is getting created yes child case is getting created hmm. in child case if you open child case here p2c data means uh, parent to child case data is propagated as yes, it is also getting output now uh, in child case we are entering other number and part number these cell details get to update to parent case step i am entering other number and i am entering parent part number in this i am update i am entering details through this update your case the details need to come to parent case step so click on submit sorry the data is not getting the because here we given py workspace here we given p is capital so that's why it's not getting again create case and update and your output child case and enter details other number and pan number I'm also not getting I will try to see where why it is not getting as PY work cover PY work page PY work page held the parent okay everything okay the mistake here is after I updated PY work page in definition tab i have not updated so that's why py work page dot other number and py work page dot phone number click on save create case again to observe the output Now child case is getting created. The data is not coming because in parent I am not entering the details. Here I am entering other number, phone number. As the details are propagated from head child case to on the parent case type and uh, uh, if you have any doubts regarding data propagation parent to child or child to parent please comment in the comment comment section i will give give a reply thank you if you want any videos 
also comment on comments i will try to make videos on the topics also thank you